Hello everyone, I am Divya, your Math Facilitator and today we are going to discuss 6 marker questions, okay? So, we have already discussed 2 marker questions from this chapter. One marker question, uh, which your previous year question, one marker question may come in part B also. So, we will discuss it separately. All the objective questions, I will take a separate video for that, okay? So, today our focus, main focus is going to be on 6 marker questions. Clear? So, I just want all of you to be ready with your pen and book. Okay, because all the important model questions we will be discussing today. So, without wasting any more time, the very first question is here. So, while doing the questions, I want all of you to do it by yourself and also we will discuss. Okay, so see the very first question. If the nth term of the geometric progression, 162, 54, 18, so on, and 2 by 81, 2 by 27, 2 by 9, so on, are equal. What are they saying? They are saying that the nth term of this progression and this progression are equal. Okay, and what type of progressions are they? Geometric progression. Okay, so let us see here. So, nth term of 162, 54, 18, so on, and the nth term of 2 upon 81, 2 upon 27, 2 upon 9 and so on. These two nth terms are equal. First of all, what is the formula for nth term? What is the formula for nth term? You know, nth term of any progression, arithmetic, uh, sorry, geometric progression is a n is equals to a into r power n minus 1. Same formula here also. So, how shall we do this, see now? So, what I will write is, the first term is 162. Now, common ratio, how will I get? It is nothing but 54 divided by 162. So, how much are you getting here? See, 227 is a 281 is Now, this I can write it as 9 3 is a 9 9 is a 81. Sorry. Yes, 9 3 is a 9 9 is a. Then 3 1 is a 3 3 is a. So, common ratio is 1 by 3. Okay, common ratio is 1 by 3 here. Similarly, what is the common ratio here? Here, first term is 2 by 81. Then common ratio will be 2 by 27. Second divided by the first by 2 by 81. So, this is nothing but 2 by 27 into. Now, 2 by 81 will reciprocal. So, you will get 81 by 2. So, 2, 2 cancel. So, this is 9, 9 is a, 9, 3 is a, 3, 3 cancel. So, you will have it as 3. So, one common ratio is 1 by 3. The other common ratio is only 3. Okay. And here it is given nth term of this AB is equal to nth term of the other GP. Okay. Nth term of this GP equal to nth term of the other GP. So, how will I get the nth term here? AN is equals to A into R power N minus 1. And here nth term is AN is equals to A into r power n minus 1. Clear everyone? Is it clear? So, firstly, I just took the GP. From the GP, I found first term, common ratio and I wrote nth term. Similarly, for the second GP also, I have taken the GP. I have found first term, common ratio and nth term. Now, they are saying that both the nth terms are equal. Yes, see the question. They are saying both the nth terms are equal. So, when they are equal, what can we do? You just have to equate. Let this be equation 1. Let this be equation 2. So, given nth terms are equal. So, 162 whole power into 1 by 3 whole power n minus 1 is equals to 2 by 81 3 power n minus 1. Clear everyone. So, now see. What can we do here now? So, I can simplify this. So, 1 by 3 whole power n minus 1 is equals to 2 by 81 into 1 by 162 into 3 power n minus 1. Okay. So, if I cancel, this will be equal to 81. Okay. So, this is 3 power minus 1. 1 by 3, I can write as 3 power minus 1. Whole power n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 81 into 81. Now, 81 I can write it as 2s are 6, 3 7s are 21. <coughs> Sorry. 3 3 9s are 27. 
three threes are and three ones are, which means eighty one I can write as three raised to the power four. Similarly, one more eighty one is there, so that also I can write three raised to the power four into three power n minus one. <coughs> so this is nothing but minus one into whole power n minus one. This is one by three by uh, one by three power four into one by three power four. This is nothing but one by three power four plus four. A power m into a power n is a power m plus n, so four plus four into three power n minus one. So again, how can I write this? This is three power minus one into n minus one. I am not simplifying this because afterwards anyway we will simplify. This is three power minus eight into three power n minus one. Okay, three power eight one by three power eight. If it goes up in the numerator, it will become minus eight. So three. Power minus one into n minus one is equal to this is three power minus eight plus n minus one. A power m into a power n is a power m plus n m plus n. So now as the bases are equal, I can equate the powers. So powers are this. Now simplify. So minus n plus one is equal to n a minus eight minus one is minus nine. So Take both the ends to one side. So this end I am taking here. So it will become two n is equal to nine. Bringing to this side, it will become ten. One plus nine. So n equal to ten by two, which is five. Clear, everyone. So n value you are getting it as five. Okay, that is what you have to find, isn't it? <coughs> so this is an essay question where first you are finding the nth term of one GP. Then you are finding the nth term of the next GP. Then you are equating both the nth terms to find n value. Okay, so little simplification here you have to understand. So your exponents chapter which you learnt in class eight, ah uh, class seven also. Okay, loss of exponents you start in class seven that you should know. Clear everyone? Okay, so next question. If the sum of the first seven terms of an AP is forty-nine, and that of the first seventeen terms is two eighty-nine, then the first ten terms. So what is given? First, first statement you see. Sum of the first seven terms of AP is forty-nine. Sum of first seven terms means S seven. S seven is how much? Forty-nine. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then it is given sum of the first seventeen terms. S seventeen is two eighty-nine. Then first n terms is how much? Okay, so how we shall do this? See here. <coughs> I'm sorry for the cough. I'm not well actually. So s n is equals to <coughs> n by two into two a plus n minus one into d. Okay. So see here now. So S seven will be seven by two into two a plus n minus one. N is seven here, so seven minus one into d equal to forty nine. Now if you clearly see here, they said sum of first seven terms of an AP is forty nine. The sum of seventeen terms is two eighty nine. Here they are saying it is same AP. Understood, children? So. A is same and common difference is same because the AP is same. A and common difference should be same, okay? And so here it is seven by two into two A plus seven minus one is six D equal to forty nine. So seven into here I can take two common. A plus if I take two common this will be three D divided by two also is there equal to forty nine. Two two will get cancelled. So seven into a plus three d is forty nine. If I transfer seven to the other side, it will be a plus three d equal to forty nine divided by seven is seven. Similarly, now the next part s seventeen you have to find. So s seventeen means seventeen by two into two a plus n minus one seventeen minus one into d is two eighty nine. Okay. So it is seventeen by two into two. Again, I can take common here also. So it is a plus sixteen. Sixteen will become eight. 
after i take two common 16 will become 8 understood so 2 2 cancel 17 also will get cancelled i'll write one more step for you so 79 289 17 17 is a 289 so a plus a d is 17 you will have after dividing clear everyone okay so after this see i got two equations one is a plus 3d is 7 other is a plus 8d is 17 so subtracting plus a minus a cancel minus 5d equal to minus 10 you will get so d equal to 2 i got d value as now i need to find a also okay so d i got so substitute d in any one equation i'm taking the first equation okay this you can take it as first and second so a plus d is what 2 so 3 into 2 or i can write a plus 6 is 7 or a is 1 so i got a value d value now i should find first is sum of first n terms sum of first n terms s n is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is 2. So n by 2 into 2 plus this is nothing but 2n minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancel. So n by 2 into 2n. So 2 2 cancel n into n is n square. Understood children? So see how long it is. Okay. <coughs> We are first finding sum of first seven terms. From that, I am finding one equation. Sum of first 17 terms, I am finding one equation. Steps are same. Steps are same, but it is lengthy. Are you able to understand? So, once you get two equations in A and D, you solve both the equations using simple pair of linear equation concept. After that, you will get your A value, D value. Substitute in the formula to find Sn because they asked Sn. Is it clear people? Yes. So I will also bring objective questions for you. Okay. So because of my health issues only I am not able to take classes. Those who know they already know that I am not taking classes anywhere also. Okay. So as soon as possible I will try to you know take maximum questions. Clear everyone? See the next question. A manufacturer of TV sets produced 500 sets in the third year. Now, all those who are attending the session, you will practice these questions once again, okay? So that you will try to do without saying by yourself, okay? Because only listening to the class will not help. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Manufacture of TV sets produced 500 sets in the third year, okay? Third year, they produced 500 sets, which means A3 is 500. Okay, so some students get confused here. Is it A3 or S3? Some of the sets produced in first three years, if they give you like this, the total number of sets produced in first three years, so some of the sets produced in first three years, which means first and second, third, all three years together, they are saying. <coughs> if they say some of the sets produced in third year it is only only third year okay and 700 sets in the seventh year so seventh year 700 sets so a7 is 700 okay <coughs> assuming that the production increase uniformly it is increasing uniformly means by a fixed number so it is an ap Okay, find the production of TV sets in the 15th year and the production of TV sets in the first 10 years. So, see here. So, I can I write this as A plus 2D is 500. This is A plus 6D is 700. Okay. Now, you see here. So, two equations are there. Can I solve it simply? So, I can simply write A plus 6D is 700. <coughs> and A plus 2D is 500 so solving these two a plus a minus a cancel 
6D minus 2D is 4D equals to 700 minus 500 is 200. So, D will be 200 divided by 4. So, D is nothing but 50. Understood everyone? So, I got what is a fixed number by which it is increasing. Now, I should also get A value. So, substitute D is 50 in any one equation. So, A plus 2 into D is 50 equal to 500. So, A plus 100 equal to 500. Or A equal to 500 minus 100 is 400. After this people, the production of TV sets in the 15th year. I got A value. Always remember you should get A value, D value. Okay. So, now I got A value. Now, production of TV sets in the first 10 years I want. Okay. And production of TV sets in the 15th year. See here the difference. See the difference here. When they are asking you 15th year, it is A15 they are asking you. When they are asking you total in the first 10 years, then S10 it is. Always remember whenever total word is used, first 10 years, first 5 years, first 3 years, then it is S, sum of N terms. Okay, S3 or S5 or like that you will use. When they say single year, okay, single, then it is that particular term. Understood? So, here also you see the only third year, so A3, only seventh year, so A7. Clear with this everyone? Now see, so the first bit is, I should find the production of TV sets in 15th year. 15th year means A15. So, A15 means A plus 14D. So, A is how much? A is 400 plus 14. D is 50. So, from this you can find the answer. Then see the next one. S10 I want. S10 means 10 by 2 into 2. A plus 10 minus 1 means 9 into D. D is 50. So, 10 by 2 means 5. This is 800 plus 450. So, from here again you will get the answer. Is it clear people? Will you solve it? Final answer please write. <coughs> See the next question. <coughs> See the next question ma. Find the sum of all the three digit numbers which are divisible by 4. Sum of all three digit numbers. Three digit numbers starts from 100. So on till 999 you have three digit numbers. Yes 99 is two digit. 1000 will be four digit. So these are only the three digit numbers. You need to find the sum of all three digit numbers which are divisible by 4. So, if I want to find a number divisible by 4, just to divide 100 by 4. Okay. So, 2 is a 8, 2 is 0, 5 is a 20. So, 100 is completely divisible. See, the reminder is 0. So, 100 is completely divisible. So, this is first three digit number divisible by 4. Now, last also we should check. <coughs> 999 divided by 4 if I do. So, 4, 2 is a 8. So, 19 you are getting here. 4 4 is a 16. Again 39. So, 4 4 is a sorry 4 9 is a 36. 3 is remaining. Always remember whatever reminder is there. This reminder you should subtract from this number. So, 999 minus 3 which means 996. So, 100 so on. 996 is divisible by 4. This you will do it in the rough work column. Understood everyone? So, after this see here everyone. So, first term is 100. Last term L or A and you can represent it as any way. It is 996. These are the numbers divisible by 4. In between also you have some numbers. How will you get the numbers? Using common difference here. Common difference is 4. Divisibility by 4 means between every, every number which is divisible by 4. Common difference will be 4. Okay. So, now see. So, sum of all the numbers divisible by 4 I want. So, Sn I want. But to find Sn, I should firstly know how many numbers are there. Understood. Okay. Because Sn2 formulas I can use. See here. N by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is one formula. Other formula is n by 2 into a plus l. First term plus last. 
whatever formula I want to use, I need to know n value. Without n value, I cannot use any formula. So, first aim is to get n value. If my voice is low, if I am feeling dull also, last class also I have seen. Don't worry. Okay, I am not little well, so I am not able to take the class with so much of, you know, uh, what do we call energy. But someone commented, you are not interested to take the class. I am not, in, not interested. Since I am interested only, I am coming to take the class. Even when I am not fine. Okay, because I waited long time. I am not uh, feeling well still. So I thought days are going very fastly and your exams are coming. So I started. Okay. So I hope you will also will adjust. Okay. Yes. How to find n value? I will simply find. In AP, you have only these formula. Either this formula, this formula or this formula. So in these two formula, I cannot use because I want n value. So I am going with the nth term formula. Okay. So a n. What is a n here? 996 is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. d is 4. See all the values are there. Only n is not there. So I will find n value. How? Take this 100 this side. So 996 minus 100 is 896 equal to n minus 1 into 4. Now take 4 to the other side. So it will become 896 divided by 4 equal to n minus 1. Divide and see 4 to the 8. For 2 is a 8, 1 is remaining, for 4 is a 60, equal to n minus 1. All n will be equal to 225. Now I got the n value. Now I can substitute in Sn is equal to. Shall we take first formula or second? Second is much easier, see, because you have first term and last term. Whenever you have first term and last term, go with the second formula because calculation time you can save in the exam, okay? So, I am going with the second formula because I know A, I know L, I know N also. N is 225 divided by 2 into A is 100, L is 996. 225 divided by 2 into this is 1096. 100 plus 996 is 1096. So, 2 1s are 2 5s are, 2 4s are, 2 8s are. So, multiply 225 into 548, you will get your answer. Okay, please do the final steps, don't leave it. Okay, see the next one. The sum of the three terms which are in arithmetic progression is 33. Last class I told you in two mark question, whenever three terms are in AP, whenever three terms are in AP, how will you take the term? Hint also I wrote. A minus D, A, A plus D. You will take the terms like this. Whenever three terms are in AP, you will take it like this. Sum of three terms which are in AP is 33. So, A minus D plus A plus A plus D. Sum of this is 33. Okay. So, from here you see minus D plus D cancel. 3A equal to 33. A equal to 33 divided by 3 is 11. So, directly I got A value. Understood why, why we took this? So, you will write here. Let the first three terms of an AP. R, A minus D, A, A plus D. Okay. <coughs> product of the first and third. First is this, third is this. So, product of first and third. Okay. Exceeds second term. Okay. Exceeds means it becomes more than the second term by 29. How much more? 29 more. Second term is A. And how much it is more? 29 more. When I am when I am explaining only I am writing. See here. Product of first and third. Okay. So these two. Product of these two. Exceeds. Okay. So that means this value is equal to. Second term. It is exceeding by 29. Okay. So it is 29 more than second term. So 29 plus 8. Okay. Now this is of the formula. A square minus D square. A plus B into A minus B. A square minus B square, okay, equal to A plus 29. But you know A value, A is 11. So, 11 square minus D square equal to 11 plus 29. 121. How much is this? 30, 40. So, D square will be equal to D square. You send it to other side. 40, you send it to this side. So, 120 minus 40. 120 minus 40 is 80. 121 minus 40 is 81. 
so d will be plus or minus 9 root 81 means 9 okay so find the arithmetic progression so here i got d values plus or minus 9 always remember whenever square is there okay square going to other side becomes square root so it could be positive or negative so plus or minus 9 you should write okay i have a value as 11 d as plus 9 if i take see they are asking you to find the ap how is the ap a minus d a a plus d a minus d a a plus d so 11 minus 9 11 this is one ap second ap a is 11 only but d is minus 9 now so then it will be a minus d a a plus d so 11 minus minus 9 11 11 minus plus minus 9 this is 20 11 and 4 understood everyone so what did we do in this question in this question they gave you some of first three terms so three terms you have to assume okay and then they said sum is 33 so from that you got a value then second condition they gave is product of first and last is equal to it is exceeding second term by 29 so once you write this line it is all solving only you need to find the ap so this is the ap understood people do practice all these questions very important find the sum of all three digit natural numbers which are divisible by three and not divisible by six okay sum of all three digit natural numbers three digit natural numbers starts from 100 and so on 999 so i want numbers i want numbers which are divisible by 3 and not by 6 so which means so which means how can i get this now see here so after 100 which number is divisible by 3 first let me find that so 3 3 is a 9 1 0 3 3 is a 9 so 1 so, 1 if I subtract from 100, 99 is divisible by 3, but we don't want 99. We want 3 digit number. So, 99 plus 3 is 102. So, first number divisible by 3 is 102. And 999 is also divisible. Now, remember, you want numbers which are divisible by 3, but not by 6. So, if I take 102, is it divisible by 6 also check? 6 ones are 6, 42. So, 7 is a 42. So, this number is also divisible by 6. 102 is divisible by 3 and 6. But you want a number divisible by 3 but not by 6. Understood? So, now take the next number after 102. The next 102 plus 3 is 105. So, 105 is also divisible. 105 is also divisible. Now, 105 is not divisible by 6. Divide and see. Okay. It is not divisible by 6. So, I need to start my AP from 105. Did you understand how we are thinking? First, I took, I, I have taken all the three digit natural numbers. That is 100 to 999. In those three digit natural numbers, now, I don't know which number is divisible by 3. So, I divided and I saw 99 is divisible. But after 99 plus 3 will give me 102. 102 is divisible by 3. But I want number divisible by 3 but not by 6. So, 102 if I divide, I am getting it is divisible by 6 also. So, I don't want 102. Okay, you want number divisible by 3 but not by 6. After 102, next number is 105 which is divisible by 3. So, 105 I have written. So, on. So, on. Now, see 999. Is it divisible by 6? See, it is not divisible by 6. Okay. So, 999 is also the number which we want. Now, remember people always. Remember. Now, 102 is not divisible. 105 is not divisible by 6. 102 is divisible by 6. Next number is 108. 105 plus 3 is 108. 108 is again divisible by 6. So, if you see like this, this you should not consider. After 108, 108 plus 3. 
uh, how much it is? 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1 will be divisible by 3 but not by 6. Understood everyone? Now difference between these two numbers if you take, the difference will be 6 not 3. Okay, you want numbers divisible by 3 but from those numbers you are removing numbers divisible by 6. So you will have numbers like this 102, 105, 108, 111 and so on. So 102 is divisible by 6. So this I don't want. This also divisible by 6. So I don't, I don't want. What I want is 105, 111 and so on. So between what I want and these numbers if I take common difference will be 6. Okay, not 3. Understood everyone? Yes. So common difference is 6. First term is 105. This much if you are able to understand. Then sum. Sum of uh, those numbers I want. So, how will I get this sum? Simply first find an similar to the previous question we have done. N value I want. So, an is 99, 999 equal to 105 plus n minus 1. You don't know n. Now, subtract. So, it is 9 minus 5, 4, 9 minus 0, 9, and 8 minus 1, 4 is n minus 1 into 6. Take 6 to the other side. So, 894 divided by 6 equal to n minus 1. So, if I divide by 6, 6 1s are 6. 6 4s are... Uh, yes, I am getting a 2 here, isn't it? Yes, 6 4s are... And again, I am getting how much here? Is it divisible, non-divisible? Did I write it correctly? Yes, 894 only. So, yes, 1, 4, 5 I will get here. Yes, so 5 means 9, 54. So, it is 9, 9 is a 54 is n minus 1. So, n is 150. I got n value. So, once I get n value, Sn is equals to n by 2 into A plus AL. So, A is 105. AL is 999. Today's sums are little complicated. I hope you are understanding. So, it is how much now? 9 plus 5, 14. 9 plus 1, 10. 10, 11. So, solving this 75 to 1104, you will get the answer. Is it clear people? All these sums, you need to do it again. Please do it again. Okay. Now, see the next question. The sum of 5th and 7th term. 5th term, sum with 9th term is 72. Sum of 7th and 12th is 97. So, 5th means A plus 4D, 9th means A plus 8D is 72. So, A plus A is 2A plus 4D plus 8D is 12D is 72. See, 2 I can take common. So, 2 if I take common it is A plus 2 6 is 72. So, a plus 60 is 72 divided by 2 is 36. So, this is the first equation. Okay. Now, here also you see a plus 60 plus a plus 11d is 97. a plus a is 2a plus 60 plus 11d is 17d is 97. Okay. So, yes. Now, we cannot solve it further. So, here also I think it's better we don't take two common because again we have to multiply. See, here two is not, you are not getting common. So, see that's how you will have to change. So, there two I am not getting common. So, instead of multiplying this equation again by two, this equation only I will keep it like that. So, this is equation one, equation two. So, subtracting equation one and two, what do you get? 2a plus 17d is 97. So, if I subtract, 2a will get cancelled. This is 17d uh, minus 12d is minus 5d. Minus 17d plus 12d is minus 5d. Now, 97 minus 72 is uh, minus 25. So, d will be 5. Once you get d value, substitute in any one equation. So, 2a plus 12 into 5 is 72. 
सो टू ए प्लस ट्वेल्व फाइज टू ए इज ट्वेल्व ए सिक्स यू गॉट योर डी यू गॉट योर ए नाउ यू नीड टू फाइंड ए पी वॉट इज ए पी जनरल फॉर्म ए ए प्लस डी ए प्लस टू डी एंड सो ऑन सो ए इज सिक्स ए प्लस डी इज सिक्स प्लस डी इज फाइव दिस इज सिक्स प्लस डी इज टू इंटू फाइव एंड सो ऑन सो इट इज सिक्स इलेवन टेन प्लस दिस इज सिक्सटीन एंड सो ऑन डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू दिस नाउ there is difference between each question every question is different so if you are learning these questions which means you can do any question given to you okay numbers may change but the model out of this you will not get any other model okay see the next term which term is of the gp is 2187 so you have gp 3927 so on somewhere you have 2187 i need to find which term is 2187 so an is 2187 n value i need to find always remember which term means n value okay so see here you know an is equals to a into r power n minus 1 an is 2187 is equal to a is 3 into r how will you get r r is nothing but 9 divided by 3 power n minus 1 that n only you have to find the so always remember whatever base you have this side the same base you will find here okay so prime factorize and see what you are getting so 3 sevens are 21 3 twos are 6 3 nines are 27 again 3 3 twos are 6 3 fours are 3 threes are again 3 3 eights are 21 ones are again 3 3 twos are 6 sevens are again 3 3 nines are 27 again 3 3 threes are 3 ones are So two one eight seven. I'm able to write as three power one two three four five six seven equal to this is three power one. Okay, a power m into a power n. So a power m plus n I can write. So plus one minus one cancel, and finally you have three power seven equal to three power n. As the bases are equal, you can simply equal the power. So n is seven. Understood? Okay, so seven minus one. N is seven. If I take n as seven, okay, so it will be a into r power seven minus one. Next question: Find the sum of all two-digit odd positive integers which are divisible by three but not by two. Again, see here. I want the sum of all two-digit. Two-digit. Two-digit starts from ten, and so on. Till ninety nine. I want odd positive integers divisible by three, but not by two. Odd means only it is not divisible by two, isn't it? Odd numbers are not divisible by two, so I want odd numbers only. Okay, so see, ten is not divisible by three. What is divisible by three? From twelve it will start. Twelve to ninety nine divisible by three. Ninety nine is also divisible. Twelve is also divisible, but I don't want even number. Okay, so I want only odd number which are not divisible by two. Means twelve cancel. After twelve, fifteen is divisible, no? Then after fifteen, eighteen is divisible. Then twenty one is divisible by three. But eighteen is even, so cancel. Divisible by two. So see here. So the AAP I'm getting is fifteen, twenty one, so on. Ninety nine is also odd, so I can take that also. So if you see, first term is fifteen. Common difference is twenty one minus fifteen six. Did you understand? Divisible by three means common difference is not three here. You want only odd numbers. So one number in between you will have to skip. Okay. So a and d I got. Then sum of all. How will I get the sum? S n. Always remember S n means first I should find a n. N value. So a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So a n is ninety nine is equal to a plus n minus one into d is how much six. So ninety nine minus fifteen will give me eighty four equal to n minus one into six. Six send it to the other side. So eighty four divided by six. If you see the same steps, okay. So please practice. So here six one is six. Six four is twenty four is n minus one or n equal to fifteen. So there are only fifteen numbers. So s fifteen I need to find. 
S15 is 15 by 2 into first term plus last term. Find the answer. This is 14, 10, 11. So, you will get 15 into uh, 2 5s are 10, 2 7s are. So, multiply and see, you will get the final answer. Clear people? Each question is a different model. Till now, if you see one question also, I did not repeat. Every question is different. So, if you are doing the session, which means you have covered all the all the essay questions. Okay? See this question. Find the sum of integers between 100 and 500, which are divisible by 9. So, after 100, you see 99, 9 table, if you see 9 11 is a 99, 9 12 is a 108. So, 108 is the first number divisible by 9. And 500, you divide and see what will you get. 500 divided by 9. 5 is a 45. 5 is a 45. So, 500 minus 5 is 495 you will have. 495 is divisible by 9. Okay. So, here it is very simple. Find the numbers between 100 to 500. These are the numbers between 100 to 500 divisible by 9. I need to find the sum. For sum, again what I should know? I should know n value. See, a is there 108. D is 9 divisible by 9. No extra condition given. So, directly D is 9. And then AN is 495. Now, substitute. AN is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. So, AN is 495 is A plus N minus 1 into D is 9. Can you solve it further? You will get the N value. Same model we have done. So, then substitute in SN. SN will be this N value you will substitute here by 2 into A. A is 108 plus last term is 495. Substitute and let me know the answer. All the questions which I am leaving, I want you all to do it. The reason I leave is at least then you will do. If everything is given, you will not do. Okay. See so here. Find the sum of all two digit odd multiples of 3. People, once you see here. 2 digit odd multiples of 3. 2 digit starts from 10 and till 99. And this is multiple of 3 means 12, 15, 18 and so on till 99. If you remember same question we have done just now. Okay see 12 is even, 18 is even. So if I remove, so my series starts from 15 to 99. Same question but see how differently they asked. Here they asked find the sum of all two digit odd positive integers divisible by 3 but not by 2. Here they simply asked sum of all two digit odd multiples of 3. Odd means already even you have to remove. So even if you remove so this will be the AP. So D will be 6 here in this case also. So same question but asked in a different way. So please remember and do it. Okay so you complete this question. It is same model. See the next one. Find the sum of all integers from 1 to 50. 1, 2, so on till 50. Which are not divisible by 3. How, see here. This is different again. Not divisible I want. Till now we have done divisible. Divisible. But now not divisible. So first to find sum of all these numbers. Okay. So S50 I am finding first. It is nothing but 50 by 2. First term plus last term. So it is 25 into 51. Okay, see what is the final answer you are getting. Now, from this total sum of all these numbers, I want the numbers not divisible. So, first let me find the numbers divisible. So, 3, so on, 48 is divisible. Okay, so how many are there? How many are there? N value. See, a n is equal to 48. I will tell you one more trick also, but you should not do that trick. You should do like this only in the exam. So, a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, 45 equal to n minus 1 into 3. 45 divided by 3 is 15 equal to n minus 1. n is 16. Okay. So, the trick I was uh, telling you is 48 divided by 3 if you do. Okay. So, 3 1 is a 3. 1 18 16. Okay. So, whatever quotient you are getting that is nothing but n value. But this you cannot do it in the exam. This you can do only to check the answer. You have to do this, this method only. Okay. This method which I said you can do it in the exam to check the answer. So I got 16. So S is 16 you will find. 
16 by 2 into 3 plus 48. So, 8 into 51. Whatever answer you get, this answer you should subtract from this. So, do, do you understand what we are actually doing? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, 48, 49, 50. So, first I found the sum of all these numbers. From these numbers, then I found sum of all these multiples of uh, 3. These multiples I subtract. Understood everyone? So, what is the answer here actually? 408. Okay, and here how much are you getting? 25 minus 51. Sorry, 25 times 51. Okay, so you will simply do 1 to 7, 5. S50 minus S16. This S16 you know. Minus 408. So, with this you will get the sum of those numbers which are between 1 to 50 but they are not divisible. So, what is what is the sum? This is divisible by 3. If I remove this, the remaining will be not divisible by 3. Understood everyone? So, each and every question we have done today is very different model and I want you all to practice these questions. Most probably from tomorrow I will take live sessions. The only reason I have not taken live sessions is I am not able to, you know, uh, talk in live now. Only when I have some mixed chocolate or something, I am able to talk. So, I don't know when I can talk, when I cannot talk. So, I did not take any live session. But I hope you will understand. Somehow, I am trying to, you know, make the lessons reach you. And uh, Telangana government has released Abhyasa Deepika. So, I will make videos on that also because those are very important questions. AP people, if you have any special material released by AP government also, let me know. We will have special sessions on that. Okay, because Abhyasa Deepika, Telangana is very important. Okay, so do like the session, share it with all your friends also. Please do subscribe and uh, definitely comment which gives me a lot of motivation. So I will see you all in tomorrow's session. Bye bye, take care.